Yeah, I don't really know. It's a strange looking back because I wrote it last year and uh, it takes a while to get to the point where you, you can get it published and edited sure. and all that. So for me, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a year old for me, you know? Okay. But I mean, it's time that I sat down to write it. I wrote the whole thing in like two or three months. Okay. It was like really a book. It just every day I just sat down and just went through it in kind of chronological order. And um, yeah, just like two or three months it was done. But um, I, I don't really know why I started doing it now. You know, it's, I, I don't okay. know what the motive to sit down and do it. The band broke up in December 2019, and I started mm. writing it, uh, no, sorry, the year before, 2018, and I started writing it January 2019. Okay. So perhaps there was a little bit of like, okay, that's over now, and it was sort of like, you know, a little bit of closure, you know, like mm. sort of, the sort of like telltale. I don't know, it's just a strange one. I've never written a book before. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way it sounds, it's like uh, you had a moment of reflection after the, uh, the band breaking up, just, just to kind of see where you were, what you've done in the past, and then uh, where to go on from there. Um, I think so. I think it was my way of sort of like coming to terms with, okay, there's a big chunk of my life there that's now over. Mm -hmm. You know, share some of that stuff that happened, you know, the, the, the funny stories, the experiences, and a little bit of um, what we learned along the way. Because, you know, when we came on the scene, the music industry was still in the middle of its crash. Mm -hmm. You know, we were transformation from the old industry to the new industry. And we were sort of in the middle of that. So I saw both sides. I saw the whole transition and kind of lived and made mistakes through it. So I felt like I had quite a, an interesting perspective, I think, to share for like new bands and old bands who might sort of um, resonate with it as well. And um, yeah, it made a lot of mistakes. We got screwed by everybody. We mm. did a lot of stuff and a lot of crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, I just thought maybe we had a, an interesting story to tell. And normally we're like, we're rock and roll books. It's normally the 1%, you know, the rock stars. It's all about the sex drugs and the rock and roll sure. and the smashing hotel rooms and the, the millions of dollars. This is, the, this is the opposite of that. This is what happens to like the rest of the bands. Like, you know, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> and why, why this story be told, you know? So I thought, I'll do it. 